Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and here is Multiverses Season Patch Notes 1.03. And let's get straight into it. Now, as you guys already see, Rick is joining the team, and we're gonna do a quick look at his movesets because they did actually announce it um today. So we're gonna go look at that really quick. Bam, right here. We're gonna see Rick's moves, and right here he have his yeah fart bomb. He throws a fart bomb, hitting enemies upwards. Okay, music and destroy some of the music that runs forward, upper cups, or reads a or reads a golf club. Okay, and then Baskrick portal theory aim and summon a maximum of two portals so excuse me we already know rick is in the game he has portals obviously wouldn't it be rick without him but let's get into these patch notes now now it looks like that xp requirement from level 3 to 15 on characters mastery track has been doubled uh we found that players could get to level 15 mastery um track too quickly this helps uh, make the journey a bit um bit more of a journey um, I agree with this. I know a lot of people are gonna say, "What? I don't want to have to, you know, grind longer and blah blah blah." I ain't gonna lie, guys. It was kind of fast. It was kind of quick, especially that there's really nothing after level 15 right now. I think it was definitely needed. So, you know, we'll see um, how that goes. You know, down the line, and hopefully, you know, this this is like the right amount of grind that you need to get to level 15 on characters. Um, next we have is loading performances on the consoles are gonna get better. Amazing. Um, next, this is a huge change, at least for new uh, new players, is that they're going to be switching the tutorial character from Shaggy, I mean, sh to Shaggy from Wonder Woman. Now, this does not affect you if you already have Wonder Woman in the tutorial. It affects the new people that haven't um, done the tutorial. And now they'll get Shaggy for free instead of Wonder Woman. And now Wonder Woman can be purchased with gold or glinium. Um, next, their Tactic K steps have been added into the intro um, intro tutorial. So now a lot of people actually don't know what Tactic K is, but pretty much when you spam the same move over and over, you have Tactic K, which gives less of a hit stun and less of a knockback. Well, kind of less of a knockback. Okay, so how, how how that works is that when you hit someone with a big move that's on Tactic K, they could di uh, they could dodge or jump out of it really faster than they um, can before because of you having it on Tactic K. Um, Next, we have are some fixes. As you can see, you don't have to go through that. We have some skins. Rain Dog's getting a chef skin. Rain Dog's getting the gold skin. And Steven is getting a Tiger Million skin. Um, the chef skin will be now available, be purchasable the normal way, you know, with Glenium. Um, looks like the Rain Dog Golden skin will only be purchasable with gold. So it means you can't buy it. It means you have to actually grind the game and get the gold to purchase it. I think that's awesome. Can't wait to see more skins like that, you know, so people can just buy their way to skins. You actually have to play the game more. And then Steven with Tiger Million skin, gl Glenium most likely. And yeah. Um, some cool um, Twitch extensions improvements is that now uh, when you're watching someone stream, you can actually um choose what fighter that they use i think that's amazing you know i think that'd be a cool thing to do with your stream i'm definitely gonna start doing that on my stream so if you know you want to check out my twitch down below etc um next they actually had the ability to where viewers could claim toast while just watching people stream that's running the extension i think that's awesome that's cool toast is uh you know cool thing to say ggs and give out even more gold to people i think that's amazing can't wait to see you know that implemented um next we have is the anti-infinite combo so you already know people like shaggy harley even bugs, all those infinite combos that you feel like you're always stuck into. Now it's being um, an anti-combo. And what this does is that now when you do a move more than four times, which I think is three moves now, right? Three moves to, to reset it. But now I think it's four moves that you have to do. If not, it will be reset after three. Um, so for example, you know, they're going to do a soft cap to see how it goes. They were considering the max of attacks to be in three. But, you know, they're going to slowly do the change. I think this is amazing because now what it does is that before you were able to do two moves over and over and it would attack the K and the way to reset it was you need to do a, a third move now you're now you're forced to do four different moves um to get out of the attack the K and, and it's not like one move one move one move then attack the K it's three of like a down attack three of the side attack and three of an up attack and then you do a fourth move to break that attack the K so it resets so I think this would be more healthy helps with the combo thing especially for Shaggy especially for Harley you know people that complained about it it's going to make it a little more skillful and you're not like locked in forever in combos now, you know. Um, next, I know a lot of you have been having the, the C-Stick issue, especially myself. Um, the reason why is because the C-Stick got changed to eight directional, um, eight directions. And now you're able to choose from four to eight. And what I mean by eight directions is that when you dare and you go a little bit to the right, it dares right even if you're pushing left. And if you're pushing to the right and you dare a little bit to the left, 
it will you know do a dare left side and now it's allowing you to have more control over it um if you are a very skillful person that you know knows how to control it then yeah that's amazing to have eight stick but if you're someone like myself that likes to use my movement you know left right um you know on the left stick and then just flick down or flick up really quick because i'm just trying to get the move out as fast as possible then that's coming back so i can't wait to see that happening tomorrow next is we have another update on the projectile system guys we're finally i just want to say this out real loud is that this game is literally showing that it's still in beta and it still has a long way to go in this game for the fact that they're still adding stuff like this they just added a new projectile um classification which is light projectiles um projectiles that don't deal that much on um, knockback for example rick's gun um morty's gun and probably like little other stuff um, maybe even Gizmo's um, bow and arrow, even though it does a light knockback or, or hit stun, but you know stuff like that. But even then, I think that's awesome that they're you know still adding more terms and stuff to the game that needs to be done. You know, instead of just saying, "Oh, we didn't add it before, we can't add it no more." You know, so I'm happy to see that. Now on to the characters. All right, so it looks like Arya got a uh, a um a fix where she was doing too much damage randomly. Thankfully, <laughs> um, next she had an issue where her hitboxes of stolen tanks was not um being hit. I guess that's cool. Um, they're still looking up the update in the up special. I know a lot of people you know are mad about the whole up special not connecting. And just to do a quick summary. The reason why it doesn't do that is because it was a kill confirm pretty much. Like you literally you touch someone with your up special, it, people found a way pretty much to kill off rip off of that. So it had to be inconsistent with the whole di reading. So you have to actually read people's di to understand you know to do the up special moves. You can't just do the move and kill people. So that's why. So they're looking for a better fix and that will be in a later update next we have is bugs bunny his down air um hit boxes are slightly getting fixed amazing lovely there's many times and i can show you probably a quick clip right here hopefully i have it where it literally hits shaggy and it, not even touching shaggy but here you go um next we have is finn he can no longer um ignore his air special limits when branching into attacks i felt like he was doing that. i felt like Finns were juggling people in the air and just was hitting every button in the world which i'm happy that they finally fixed that um next we have is um his down special his instant cancel has been removed so you know the triple dare yeah that's gone finally and then his um ground and side special he instant um jump cancel um on hit um, has been removed so that's awesome again um Next we have is Garnet. Garnet got some buffs. And what now is her ground attack. Garnet now retains some of her velocity moving into the attack. Her ground up attack has reduced three frames of recovery, giving her better follow-ups, as it says. Um, her air down attack has her hitbox frames started up frames by two and makes it combo better. Amazing. And then her side attack. Oh yeah, yeah, same thing. <laughs> Um, and in her air neutral attack, recovery reduced by 3 frames hit. This change should improve Garnet's ability to follow up on a successful attack. Amazing. Love to see Garnet getting some buffs and getting some combos into her. Looks like Gizmo got straight buffs. Yes, my little guy got some buffs. So right now he has some increased jump speed. I, I, listen, I'm going to be playing a lot of Gizmo after the LTC event, but I ain't going to lie. I don't mind this. Nah, nah, nah. It, it, it might be see too much, but let's see um, when it happens if it's too much. Um, next we have is the air slash ground neutral special. The music notes lifetime extend from ten to nine. I think this is needed. I felt like the, I feel like the music notes are so useless. Like, well, not really useless, but like to ever get someone to silent them. You know, I feel like it just doesn't last long enough. So hopefully this kind of helps it, and I don't think it will because this wasn't like it being applied to them um life extension it's just the music note in general just staying up in the air longer which you know i think it's cool we'll see what it does um next we have is the car is now classified as a heavy projectile as it should you know the car i think it should definitely be um you know classified as that um next we have this is air his side special recovery reduced from five frames i think this is amazing i think it was very punishable a little bit too punishable um as the move so i'm happy to see that he's able to get out of it a little bit better now and then his um air down special cannot be jumped out of i think this is amazing i think no character should be locked into moves like that i think the only character we have that does lock into moves is iron giant but if he does hit anybody he could cancel out of it and he could still cancel out of it with a dodge so i don't know I, th I think they're just too different to give them the same punishment you know um next we have his harley her down special which is her jack in the box sometimes we'll get hit and overlaps enemies um, I think this is fixed now. Now, if someone try to hit the box, they actually get punished and not just break the box. So I'm kind of happy about that. Only thing I think that should break her jack in the box are projectiles, not someone just punching it by accident. Um, next, there was a bug with Iron Giant where if he had bolts on and he'll get next to the blast zone, it will destroy it. I'm um, happy that's fixed for him. You know, he's already gotten a big massive nerf, so I'm happy to see that he's, you know, getting his correct fixes and nothing crazy. Next, we have is Jake Down special. While in house on the ground, Jake no longer mounts his grounded opponents. 
now nah, I think this is good. I think this is like when you're on the ground and like you walk up to him, you won't just bounce off. Because there's an example. There's many times where I try to punch Jake after going in house and I'll just bounce off of him somehow. Happy that he's been changed. And his ground attack, worth recovery, increased by four frames on miss. Amazing. And I think that's what a lot of these characters need. Quote unquote on miss. If they hit, cool. Let them do whatever the hell they have right now. But on misses, I feel like it needs to be a little more push more on all characters but i'm happy that they're slowly walking into it for every you know character um next we have lebron he is the first character that's getting his experimental tag removed finally um a bug where the ball will disappear when thrown too close to the enemy awesome you know we want those fixes of course not to you know stay in the game or bugs to stay in the game so happy for that fix next we have is his his um air slash ground neutral when allies receive a pass they emit a small explosive to knock away enemies i think that's awesome you know give him a little Teamwork um, ability, uh, no look passes increase speed um, increase from 3200 from 30 from 3000. I think that's amazing. I felt like the no look pass was kind of slow because it does you know hesitate a little bit. So I'm happy that the ball, I guess, goes out faster. We'll see how that goes. Um, air slash ground down projectile no longer blocks heavy projectiles. I don't think it. Sh I think it should. Um, but we'll see what the change does. I I just think because you know it's I'm not saying this because it's LeBron, but it's defense and. I'm just, you know, a huge um, projectile hater. You know, I'm, I'm tired of these projectiles, so I'm happy to any way to defeat them. So, unfortunately, he's getting that removed, but we'll see what it does um, in the future games. Or in the future, you know. Yeah, games. That's going to be happening for us. Um, the basketball neutral air um, no longer breaks armor on the first hit. I think that's the one where he doesn't have a basketball. No, it says he has a basketball. Is it the... Oh, it's when he does the, the wraparound. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think that makes sense. You know, it should definitely abate you on the first hit. Or... Should it not be on the first day? I don't know. Hmm, interesting. We'll see how that plays out. Next. Oh, the second character that's losing his experimental um, tag is Morty. Awesome. No buffs or changes about him besides that. Shaggy. His air side special recovery increased by three frames if missed. Again, amazing. Happy to see that. I'm happy to see that people are getting this whiff recovery. And I hope to see more characters getting this, to be honest. Um, next we have is his um, near neutral attack. Nolan breaks armor on the first hit. I think this is amazing. I felt like... It was definitely breaking armor moves a little bit too quick where like even if you try to throw it out a, a literally a nanosecond before um he reaches you he just touches you and it just destroys you and you're already in hit stun so i'm happy to see that um being changed steven his air um grounded up special smoothing out movement to attack won't hitch thank you i felt like this move just kind of just flew out of him instantly so hopefully this smooths it out to where you can kind of see it a little bit Besides it just being thrown out, so I'm happy to see that. Um, another move with his ground side attack um, being smoothed out so it won't hitch. The first attack, attack can now branch into earlier into the second attack. Second attack can now branch earlier to the final attack. And the firm movement during um, attacks increase so they can hit more reliable. Okay, so you reach out a little bit more. Kind of like Shaggy, I want to say. I feel like Shaggy reaches where his hand doesn't hit sometimes. But yeah, I think it's something like that. But hopefully nothing too crazy. Um, air... Air side attack, um, the knockback scaling went from 14.5 from 13.5, Steven horizontal kill power was low, we hope this changes to help the, the attack, um, I think this is his, his air side, oh that's the stomach thing, okay yeah that's his stomach thing, okay yeah I, I, I'm fine with that, um, his air side special increased projectile speed slightly, I think it needed it, I think it kind of came out really slow and it's kind of like obvious when it's coming so you can just dodge it by going underneath it or higher, um, air down attack, um, hitbox activity frame starts two frames earlier. Interesting. This change might make the active frames more accurate. The animation. Interesting. I feel like that move is kind of kind of good already, but we'll see. Superman. His ground up attack reduced knockback scaling from 1.5 from 2. Interesting. That's going to be a game changer. It might actually help out with combos a little bit, I, I, I would say, but we'll see what that goes into. Um, change is charge cancel reduced um, by four frames. So I think when you charge it and cancel it, you have to wait four extra frames. So I think you're able to do it instantly, but now you know you have to wait the four frames. So definitely can't wait to see how that goes. Um, this change should make attack significantly more commitment. Yeah, see, some more commitment. Um, neutral is neutral ground attack charge cancel reduced by four frames. So yeah, they're kind of playing the same boat where you can't just wave dash with the move over and over again. I don't think this should only be on Superman, I think this should be on all characters, you, you know. How, you know, instead of them allowing them to just uh, charge a move and instantly cancel out of it, I think they all should have like a bare minimum of like four frames or three, five, you know, whatever it is. Um, next is this up special recovery increased by 12 frames on whiff miss. Oh my goodness, that is that's a lot. I can't wait to see how much that is. I felt like it was already kind of punishable when you miss, um, but 
12? I, I would have hoped like at least 6, 7, but 12? Hey man, can't wait to see how it is. Lowered base, knockback on down throw. Amazing, can't wait to see how that plays out. Um, This should help make the wall camping strategies less effective. Great. Um, Tom and Jerry, ground um, ground sign attack, hitbox frames, um, windows increased to two frames, oof. Recovery increased by four frames on whiff miss, great, great, great. Recovery increased by four frames on whiff, great, great, great. Side attack, uh, recovery reduced by three frames, okay. Recovery land reduced by seven frames, okay. Air down attack, uh, reduce this frame by three. Recovery, land cancel window, move forward by three, and then push back horizontally. Um, I think that's good, right? Yes, that is good. That means that you won't just get flown straight down. So it looks like um, you, it's less than you getting juggled and kind of getting killed. You got to kind of DI with it a little bit because you go to the side a little bit. So that's great. Um, Jerry uh, returns back to Tom if he is killed when attached to an enemy. They gave him that back? Okay, interesting. We'll see how that goes. Velma, oh yes. So they fixed her ice bug. I did notice that. It was very buggy and then sometimes it would just apply when they weren't on it. So hopefully that was fixed too. Um her ground neutral attack. Um the bubbles no longer consumes one additional ammo. Never noticed that. Allies enhanced bubble speech bubbles no longer apply one stack of weakening. Awesome. Weaker her even more. Her down attack pushes, knockback angle more horizontal. Again, awesome. That means you can't loop anymore. So you know the camera down attack. It should be less um true because they're gonna be flying away more um away from you know the down attack. Her up ground uh, um air um recovery increased by three frames. Awesome. That's talking about the light bulb move. Now when you know it's just she can't spam it as much because trust me she could spam it and then finally her air neutral special enhanced beam no longer applies weakening amazing and then enhanced beam knocked back reduced from 1750 to 1600 awesome can't wait to see those changes all right guys that is it for the patches of 1.03 of multiverses hopefully you enjoy these patches like much as i hopefully will and i'll see you on the next one peace guys yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la cause she wanna be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find out